Welcome to Amazon Breaking News. I am the wise guy. Stay to the end of this video and we go over the pros and cons and how this article can help impact your business. The Bay Body Retinol Moisturizer Cream is the top trending product on Amazon Prime Day. I'm the wise guy and this is an Amazon Breaking News Minute. Amazon Prime Day 2018 is here, which means over 100,000 reduced Amazon products and countless deals on beauty and personal care products. According to Pop Sugar, thousands of beautiful beauty lovers are taking advantage of the sale. And they must all have good taste because the top trending product of the entire event is Bay Body's Retinol moisturizer cream thanks to prime day the cream has reduced from $40 to a super manageable $14 especially when you consider that over-the-counter retinol products can run fairly upmarket as for the product itself Bay Body retinol moisturizer cream is 71% organic and formulated with green tea and joba oil even better, it contains vitamin B5, shea butter, and hyaluronic acid. All moisturizing and pumping agents that will help keep your skin soft and hydrated, even as retinol does, it's irritating, potentially flaky, but overall skin smoothing and tightening thing. The Pop Sugar points out almost 3,300 customers have reviewed the cream, 80% of which are high quality reviews according to Amazon review watchdog FakeSpot. The brand's eye gel is already the Amazon shopper favorite, with over 8,000 reviews citing Bay Body as their straight up bay. As Amazon day shoppers apparently know, retinol is part of a balanced skincare routine when used properly. Still, it's an ingredient that can often go overlooked. It has a bad reputation for causing irritation and redness as your skin adjusts to the potency. But shoppers are raving of Bay Body's version. I'm 79 years old and I can see a difference after one week, wrote a reviewer. This is a great facial moisturizer and I've seen results in 10 days. After three or four days, I could tell my face looked healthier and it definitely felt healthy, agreed another. The only catch. You have to be a member of the shop sale, which means it's time to hit up your ex's aunt's neighbor or slide into the DMs of anyone you suspect has an account for access to prime only prices. So what are some of the pros and cons about this article? Well, let's talk about Bay Body. It's a brand, uh, so you can't private label brand. Uh, that would be one of the cons. Um, it's a topical cream. A lot of people don't like selling topical creams. You do have to get insured. Uh, would be a really good idea to do that. Um, and it's probably really competitive. So we'll check out the competition as well. Some of the pros though, it is one of the best selling, if not the best selling product on Amazon right now. And there will be high demand uh, for that particular product. Um, and you can check and see if you can wholesale the product as well. So you can check with Baybody to see if they will give you wholesale options in Canada, perhaps, or where you're from. So those are some of the pros and cons. Let's go right into it. So as you can see, guys, for retinal cream, if you look at the reviews, okay, some of the top ones, 775, 775, 74, 16, uh, 750, 2700. Okay, so for retinal creams, page one, there are a lot of opportunity spots under 50. Uh, so not bad, but there are some very um, brand dominant. One thing you can definitely do is go direct to the manufacturer of product, baybody.com or, or any brand that you want to sell. And you can ask for uh, privileges to sell their brand on your platform or wherever it may be. Send me a quick message. Hi, thank you for your time. I would like to become a Canadian representative and reseller of your brand products. Buy large volume of your products at wholesale prices. You may contact and potentially set this up. And 
signed that, sent that off. And so the final option you can do is you can become a private labeler of the brand and start your own brand and compete in that niche. Go to uh, Alibaba.com and see if you can source retinol cream, what it would cost you to do something like a retinol cream. And from there, uh, it would just be a matter of setting yourself up. Now, remember, cosmetics do have a little more stringent requirements. Make sure you go to Amazon and figure out what those are, what requirements and what certifications you require. Uh